what is going everybody going on everybody today today I'm going to show you how to fix a fogged up headlight in the Ram 2500s now, I know it irritates me when you see a lot of these trucks with the fogged up headlights and why they do it I have no idea but I'm went and when I bought this truck about six months ago I went and this headlight was extremely fogged up like it was so badly damaged that you can see the bottom of the headlight there is just all torn up from where it had water just laying in it it was so fogged up so i pulled it out and fixed it and have had haven't had any issues with it since then but yet now the other one is starting to do it so and it's just it's nothing major just a little bit but i want to get it fixed before we have any issues with it so today i'm going to show you how to remove the headlight from a ram 2500 and then show you how to fix the water leaking issues and getting moisture in your headlight okay so first off i'm going to show you how to remove the headlight from this ram 2500 so to remove the headlight you have to remove the plastic cover above the grill and remove the remove the grill itself to get to the bolts which are located about right in here to get the headlight out so first off you have to go and pop there's four tabs across here there's one here, there's two across the front, and another one over there. Okay, so once you get those removed, you can just go and pick it up and sit it back here out of the way. Um, mine, my tabs went and they pop off pretty easy because of course I've done it I've had to pop them off before to get the other headlight out, but yours might be a little harder than that, but they're pretty simple to just pop out if you got the proper tool to use. Okay guys, so next up we're going to remove the grill, and to remove the grill there is four 10 millimeter bolts across here, one, two, three, and four. So go and remove them, and then you'll be able to pop your grill off. Okay, so to remove the grill, there's two little tabs underneath. You just gotta kind of gotta grab a hold of grab a hold of the grill and just pull on the bottom, and then they should just pop right up. So to remove the headlight, there is three things that you have to do. There is two 10 millimeter bolts there's one right here and one right there and then you have to go inside of your fender well open your little window that you got up here then once you open your window you see this big white tab here and all you have to do on it is just push up on it and it'll just unlock You heard it just pop. It just pops right up into a little groove and lets you be able to pull the headlight out once you get your bolts out. Okay, so I went ahead and pulled the bolts out of the headlight. And now your headlight is ready to come out. But yet, if you grab a hold of it, it won't feel like it wants to come out. But really, it, it'll come out. All you got to do is just get you a little tool, a little, a little pl plastic pry bar here. It's going to stick it in about right down in here and it should just pop the light right out then all you gotta do is just unhook your headlights from the back of it and your light will come right out okay guys the headlight is out now if you want to see what was making it hang up there how you gotta kind of pop it out there's a little little knot right here that you gotta go to go and pop it out of its little groove there and then whenever you pull it out you might want to have a little little um flathead screwdriver handy just to pry the little tab up off that little clip right there and you can unplug your lights and your headlights out okay guys so now when you go to get the moisture out of the headlight first thing you want to do is is take this cap off and there's a cap right here take them both off undo your headlight just turn it about a quarter of a turn and pull them outside of your headlight that way when you're going if you got water in your headlight that way you're not 
messing with your bulbs in any way. So pull both your headlights out and then if you got water laying in them, you can go outside and I'd go over to your little hole over here and try to shake most of your water out and then whatever little bit is left you can get out with heat. me being that I only have a little bit of moisture in my headlight then I got my hair dryer here and I'm just gonna stick it in one of them holes and let it sit for it'll probably take about five minutes and then the moisture should be out of the headlight and you should be good to go but I can say with the Ram what I've experienced is is that these headlights if it rains or something they might they might get just a touch of moisture in them a very little bit but they come right back out but like um like this one it's been like this for about two weeks now and it has stayed like this so then you know it's got a leak in it somewhere like my other one over here you go and it that's been like this i fixed it being a may and it's now november and it has had no issues at all no moisture in the headlight maybe just a touch if it rains but it unfogs right after it gets done raining so should be good to go with this but i'm gonna go ahead and stick the hair dryer in there it'll probably take five or ten minutes and get all the moisture out of it okay so i just got the hair dryer stuck up in you can see it there you gotta kind of get it in your just aim it towards your your little hole there in the center and i stuck it in the bottom one because most of my moisture is in the bottom headlight so i'm just going to stick it in there turn her on and wait okay guys so as you can see i'm getting went and it's all good and clear now it took about eh, five eight minutes just to get a little bit out. i think it probably took when i did my other headlight of course it had water laying in it and i got most of it out but i think it probably took about 20 minutes to do it but it only took five minutes give or take a little bit but now i'm just going to go and grab me some um, silicone here and i'm going to put it around the whole outer edge of where the plastic goes clear around the light at and that that should help with all the water issues that's what i did on my last headlight it works just fine no issues and this is just something simple and easy you can do at the house it takes about eh, takes about 45 minutes to do it just the hard part is waiting on the silicone to dry before you put the light back in but hey it's a cheap easy fix about eight bucks for a thing of silicone maybe and just something easy to easy and simple you can fix So I'm going to go and let that sit there for an hour or two and dry, but while I'm waiting, I'm going to go ahead and wax the truck. I just went and got it back from, went and took it to the car wash, so just got back and figured go ahead and try to kill two birds with one stone. While that's doing that, go ahead and, and wax her up. I'm going to use a little bit of Jack's Wax ceramic, ceramic wax on it. It's got the, this truck's got the ceramic coating on it, so I figured, eh, it's been a couple months since, probably been, it's been about, put it on July so it's November so it's been a couple months three or four months since I went and put that on so I'm gonna go ahead and wax her up before start getting bad weather so I'm gonna do that while we're waiting on the silicone to dry so the light is finished silicone's all dry and stuff on it it might not look the prettiest but it's okay you can't see it tucked up underneath there but now we're just gonna reverse everything put it back in the truck and good to go looks just like the other headlight now fixed up ready to go won't have to worry about it fogging up and looking like crap and bothering me every time I go out to drive it see the jacks wax ceramic wax shiny truck up looks all good and good to go so thank you guys for watching if you like what you've seen hit the like button subscribe to the channel gonna be more content coming soon try to get some stuff going here on the channel and if you have any questions or comments comment below and I'll try to get to get to you answer any questions you have to my best ability and just thank you guys for watching um, six seven hills on Instagram subscribe to 
subscribe and you see some pictures of the truck and stay tuned on what's coming up next on the Instagram channel. So thank you guys for watching and have a blessed day.